1200 CHP Harley Sportage from an actual yet another video and today I am literally on Sporty Bike. What's going to happen here? We're going to take a quick ride just to get a haircut while I'm putting air in the tires while I'm going to get a haircut and coming back I'm going to be telling you about what's been happening with Sporty Bike. Because I haven't posted any videos and I have been doing a lot of work on Sporty Bike, But there's a lot of reasons why. Here. Let's take a roll and start talking about it while we drive to the gas station. So sorry that I didn't make a video about my front fork. By the way, I'm just testing out the new front fork right now with the progressive suspension spacer that's adjusted correctly because I had my OEM spacer prior on installation since the get go that we installed it and I did the seal then as well but what happened was I forked the tubes on my fork testing out the brakes brake weed yeah I did also did a brake weed we're getting to everything details so what happened was my forks had a chip and they were rubbing against the seal until they made the seal not work anymore they cut the seal and I had to get new forks also I believe that this bike has been in an accident with the previous owner. Not only because there's a dent in the back, not only because the force was impossible to take out, I had a cut it. And I uh, eventually got new fork tubes, installed them with new seals, to get a lot of the which I didn't make a video on which I really wanted to but with, with some help of Sportster Bunkers Mr. Ken I was on the phone was on the bike working was trying to film and I couldn't get nothing done because she broke her bad luck trying to multitask in that form and fashion, testing out my back brakes. I did beat them yesterday. I installed button pads on the previous video. I installed rear pads. Now, the preload from the rear side is much cool. Now, Harley Davidson says with my weight, it should be on two. But I have it on four. And the front is funky with the new spacer. It's not 3.5, it's 3 inches. So with this spacer, it drops. I don't like it. But I also just went up the block. I didn't really ride it hard to check it out. So what I will do is keep it up like that for a while and uh, see how I like it in the future and if not make adjustments to it like putting the OEM spacer back on and with the rear I don't think I'm gonna be adjusting that because I just went over the top of it speed bump and it almost bottomed out the front I realized that the space was too short for that but that could be easily changed the back not so much I have the saddle bags on and plus I don't want to be so sore from the back so sporty Bob is ready to be revealed on my next video please stay tuned for that so I've been busy. I've been having the bike on the homemade lift 
four by fours, blocks, all that good stuff. And uh, I've been wrenching. I've been wrenching so much, I over wrenched. I don't believe the back feels good. This video is very important. I, I don't think this works. It says 28. I need it. Hi. So this air pump don't work. I need 40. Air pump. No. Different. Oops. Oh, there she is. The review. <laughs> okay, I'm still gonna make a review video on it because I just have to. I knew that this leak of this video would be a bad idea, but it is what it is. Not a big deal. Get some hair. Right, no. This is what is hair. No, no. Nothing works here. No. Nothing works here. Just oil on the floor. Let's try another Tip the dumb gas station. I can tell you that. Dangerous. Oh, it just hit my leg on the muffler. Nothing big. Beautiful day in Cancun is another beautiful day in Cancun. Let's see, what can I do? What am I doing? Just hope there's air and this is not enough. Hope okay, there's another car. We're gonna go around this guy. He's done. Yeah, sorry about this, but I have to make this video. I have to make this video, not to leak sporty box. That's a review video that I'm gonna make next. But to talk to you guys again. It's been a while since I made the last show. So we got new front fork tubes. New front fork seals. I didn't get the dampening rods like I want to. Like I said, my funds are not even to be messed with. Too many debts. Not enough money. So, thanks for your support. Making my videos possible and building that subscription, sharing, liking, subscribing, commenting, all helps. Sporty Bob. The blogger. So moving on next. After the front fork, we're gonna took the tire out and polished it. Well, the rim. Burnt my leg real bad just now. So I put front brake pads. I bled the front forks and the rear forks. No air. No air. No air works here. So I did 
let them. Didn't make a video on it because I ordered a vacuum. I usually manually leave my brakes, but I ordered a vacuum because I said it's the third time in five years that I'm bleeding my brakes. One, because I got the new bars. Second, well first, because I bought the bike and I don't know what kind of liquids were in there for how long. So that was the first one. The second one was because of the bars. The third one was because it was time. So now what do we have? A little bit of back brake. Try to pump it up. Practice pumping it up. guys next video to come will be the reveal of sporty bob so what do we have we have the gators that i put on we have the fork tubes we have the fork seal we have the front brake we have the bleeding brake front and rear new front and rear brake pads. And that's what Sporty Bob's been up to this whole week and some days. Not being able to ride the bike. And it started right up. Cold start and everything. I don't have a fob. Maybe that's why. So I recommend no fobs. No fobs. Thanks for watching my video. See you on the next one.